Okay, so what's cooking, Marie? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm making uh, escabeche tilapia. Okay, uh, escabeche, I think it's originated from Spain, France, and the Philippines. Okay, it's usually made with fish, uh, with a um, uh, sauce of vinegar, soy sauce, and some sugar. Okay, but now today I'm making mine healthy. Okay, and this is uh, the recipe is from my pantry. You know me, if I can find it in my pantry, I substitute. All right, so first thing is we have I have my tilapia fillet that um, I put some salt and I'm gonna fry this in some olive oil. Okay, um, and then set aside. Okay, so I'm gonna start frying and I'm gonna show you the other ingredients in a little bit. I'm gonna set this aside and, and the main thing is the sauce. Okay, alrighty, I'll be back. All right, here goes. My tilapia filet is done. So we're gonna set this aside. I'm gonna put this in my paper towel, you know, for uh, to drain all the excess uh, oil. Okay. All right. So let me do that. All right, guys. So we're done with the first ingredient, which was my uh, tilapia fillet. If I guess you could use whatever fish you have available. That's what I'm using. So now here are the other ingredients, guys. I have some diced ginger. So guys, a quick tip for you, for your ginger, so that you don't want to waste a lot of your ginger. So after you buy them, uh, wash them, dry them, and then cut them up in little portions. The portions that you think you might want to use at one time. And then put it in a Ziploc bag Ziploc bag, guys, and put them in the freezer, okay? So if you need one, just take one out of the freezer and then just kind of thaw it a little bit or wash it with a little warm water and then you could slice them up. You don't waste, uh, you know, your ginger because if you just put them in the refrigerator, they kind of, uh, you know, get rotten quick. All right, especially now that the supplies are, you know, kind of uh, uh, diminishing a lot. All right, quick tip. Onions, of course, you know. I have some carrots. Um, I have olives here I don't, because I don't have uh, bell peppers, okay? You would also need some sliced tomatoes. I don't have it. It's from my pantry. I have some diced tomatoes here already. I don't have the fresh tomatoes. Okay, so I use salt and pepper, of course. And I have my red crushed pepper flakes here for a little, I want a little bit spicy. Of course, I use the olive oil there when I fried. And then I have my diced minced garlic. I don't want to fight with the fresh garlic. I have the uh, soy sauce and then the vinegar and about a teaspoon of flour here, over here. And then you would need um, hmm, about half, a fourth of, a fourth to half a cup of brown sugar but we're watching our sugar we don't want to be all diabetic later on so i'm using my stevia here okay about four packs of it okay we'll adjust it later on okay all right guys so first things first um i'm using the same pot why you know why would you uh, be washing everything so i'm gonna just uh, put a uh, saute all my uh uh, uh, ingredients here okay all right and i diced uh, 
one big onions red onions but i'm just gonna put like about two thirds of it okay so here goes Mm -hmm. okay so until it's gonna be kind of soft All right, the onions is kind of uh, soft now, so I'm gonna add all my carrots. Okay. We're not gonna cook the carrots too much because I want it to be has still has a little bite in it. Now we're gonna add some garlic. Okay, my minced garlic. Woohoo! About a tablespoon. You don't want your garlic to burn. Now, I'm gonna add half of my, um, since I don't have bell pepper, half of my uh, uh, sliced uh, olives. That would be good. It has a, a different taste because of the olives, guys. All right, now we're gonna ha add about a fourth of a cup of vinegar. No measuring. <laughs> a fourth. And then about the same thing with soy sauce. There we go. Okay. Okay, at this point, I'm going to add my four packs of um, sweetener, okay? If you want the um, uh, brown sugar taste, you could add your brown sugar at this time. All right, it's simmering. Okay. And now we're going to add our tomatoes. Okay, here comes the tomatoes. Okay. Ooh, ooh. And now we're going to add like a fourth of a cup of water. And you could adjust your salt and pepper. I'm going to add my um, pepper flakes here. We want it a bit spicy. I'm going to lower my uh, heat a little bit. Let me get me some water. All right, here goes half a cup of water. Okay, let that simmer a little bit. If at this time, if you were using the uh, the uh, fresh tomatoes, you want it simmer a little bit longer because you want the tomato to really kind of, uh, you know, mush up. I don't know, is that a uh, term, mush up? Okay, simmer it a little bit. And now the last step is our uh, a starch, a tablespoon of starch, just to thicken the sauce a little bit, okay? All right, let's see. Mm hmm it's thickening up that's the last step guys just a tablespoon of uh, flour all right now we're gonna plate it okay you could adjust your sugar and then your i mean salt and pepper to taste and your sugar if you want but i think 
mine is good. Let me taste it. Mm hmm I think that's good. All right, so let's turn this off. And I'm gonna plate it, okay guys? All right guys, so I, after I drained my, the oil, extra oil and my uh, fried uh, filet, I transfer them here and then we are just gonna add the sauce. That's about it and you could enjoy. All right, there goes. I think I made a lot of uh, extra sauce here. You could keep it and you reuse it again later on. And then for presentation purposes, <laughs> you could put some slices. Uh, I don't have green onions. So um, this is the onions that I have. Drop it there. Mm -hmm. Like so. And then my extra olives here. This is Marisa Escabeche, Tilapia Escabeche, whatever is in my pantry. All right, guys, enjoy. Woohoo! Awesome. I'm gonna try hey, it. Guys, I'm tasting my Escabeche Tilapia. All right, this is best really eaten with rice, you know. But since I don't have uh, white rice right now, I'm going to have some salad with it, kale salad. Yes, the ginger and the um, olives that I added is good. A nice twist to it. Try it guys, and there's not a lot of sugar, I tell you. We gotta be healthy, all right? Make it, it's good. You could make your own if you want your, uh, your the brown sugar. Just limit the amount if you want. It is awesome. See you next time. Thank you for watching.